Now, just like a Swift UI view can be loaded in a UI kit application, a UI kit view can also be loaded into a Swift UI view. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Now, just to make the example simple, I'm going to create or represent a UI activity indicator view, which is basically a progress view. Now, in Swift UI, we already have a progress view that you can use, but just to give you an example, I'm just going to go ahead and represent the UI activity indicator view, which is in UI kit, and I will try to load it in Swift UI view. In order to do that, we'll go ahead and create loading view. That is what we're going to call our view. It will be UI view representable. That is what makes our view to be imported into a Swift UI application. When we use UI view representable, it's a protocol, so we must conform to all the different things that are going on, like all the different uh, you know, conformance that it provides. The first thing it's telling us is that the UI view type. Well, what kind of a view are you trying to give us? So I can go ahead and say UI activity indicator view. But even if I do that, it's not really happy because we still need to implement a couple of different functions, which is make UI view and also update UI view. If you're creating this loading view in your own example, in your own project, then make sure that the loading view is in a different file and not part of the content view so that you have organized it in a much nicer way. The make UI view is responsible for creating the activity view. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say activity indicator view equals to UI activity indicator view with a particular style. Let's just call it medium and return the activity indicator view. The update UI view is going to update the view, meaning if the loading is true, we will have a variable called loading. We can go ahead and add that as a simple var property. If the loading is true, then the UI view, which is a UI activity indicator view, start animating. Else, well, we don't really want to animate anymore, so stop animating. And that is pretty much it. That's how you will represent a UI kit view, which in this case is UI activity indicator view, in Swift UI. Now, how do we use our loading indicator view? Let's go back to the content view. The first thing I'm going to do is going to create a state variable is loading boolean and we'll set it to be false. Next, I can go ahead and add a vStack. After adding the vStack, I can add a loading view passing in the loading, which is simply is loading. And using the button, we can toggle it. So whenever you press a button, we will say is loading dot toggle. And that's it. That's how you will represent a UI kit view in Swift UI application. Now, if I go ahead and do that, you can see I can toggle the activity indicator view is visible. Again, I toggle, it's gone. So all of those controls that you have created in UI kit, they can be represented, they can be imported, they can be used in a Swift UI view just if they conform to UI view representable. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of different courses on Udemy, uh, including the building real-time chat application using SwiftUI and Firebase, ChatGPT, augmented reality, MVVM design pattern, and V pattern, that's the one that I follow, uh, reminders application clone, and I also publish an application for Swift data that I continuously update. So definitely check out those courses. Thank you so much.